Hi, it's Becca from Families and Babies and in this video we're going to have a look at colostrum. Colostrum is the first milk that you'll start producing and you'll start making this in pregnancy. Some women find that they can leak towards the end of pregnancy and these can be little beads of colostrum that dry on the end of your nipple and grow a bit crusty. It's totally normal to leak and it's just as normal not to leak too so please don't worry if you aren't leaking in pregnancy. So we call colostrum liquid gold and there's a few reasons for this. The first is the colour. As you can see colostrum is really really yellow or golden. It's also got some really amazing benefits for baby. Colostrum is brilliant at regulating blood sugar levels. When baby's born if they receive formula because they've got low blood sugars we can see that they'll spike up and come down quite quickly. Whereas with colostrum, what we'll find is there's a much slower rise and then when those levels get to where they need to be, they'll just stabilise and stay around that area. If you know you've got gestational diabetes in pregnancy, it might be worthwhile thinking about harvesting colostrum. This just means that you're going to hand express some colostrum off antenatally before baby's born and store it in the freezer. Please speak to your midwife if you'd like to harvest colostrum. It's not recommended to do so before 37 weeks and you really want to ask your midwife if it's something that's suitable for you. You might want to think about questions about storage on ward if you're going into hospital and really come to a decision about whether it's for you or not. Colostrum's also a natural laxative. So when your baby's first born, they'll have that really dark, sticky, tar-like meconium poo. We'll see that poo starts to transition and go to a greener, browner or more orangey in colour. This is because it, the meconium is flushing out of baby's system. Ultimately, we're going to want those nappies to be yellow in colour, but that won't happen for a good few days. We do have another video dedicated to nappy output for baby, so please check that out. One of the greatest benefits of colostrum is that it's packed full of antibodies. Every teaspoon of colostrum that your baby has, has around 3 million germ-killing cells. This really, really goes on to kickstart your baby's immunity. They protect the mucous membrane in baby's throat, lungs and intestines, which in turn gives them protection against bugs like gastroenteritis and ear infections and chest infections. So it really, really has some amazing health benefits for baby. Now, your baby will only have colostrum for the first couple of days or so. Women's milk usually comes in around day three to five. When your milk's coming in, you might find that your boobs feel heavy. They can feel full and sometimes quite engorged. Engorgement is where our breasts get quite hard and sometimes lumpy. When this happens, you might want to start hand expressing just to soften that breast up for baby. Again, we have another video totally dedicated to hand expressing, so please have a look at that. Colostrum also kickstarts baby's brain development and it's an amazing source of energy for baby. So, they'll feed plenty in those early days. Colostrum is made in small amounts, it's thick and sticky and often yellow or gold in colour which is perfect for baby's tiny tummy which is about 7 mil big. It regulates baby's blood sugars and it doesn't spike them like formula does. It's a great source of energy, a natural laxative which helps baby pass bowel movements, it promotes healthy growth and development and it's packed full of antibodies. These go on to protect the mucous membranes in the throat, lungs, intestines and also help to prevent things like stomach infections. That's everything on the benefits of colostrum and we'll see you on the next video.